Yes. <laughs> and it was Christians who did not allow our fathers be, to become Christians That's right. for 300 years. It was not sinners, it was Christians. <laughs> what was our history? You were historians, you were students of history. What was the history of our people beyond the, uh, the entry into slavery here in America? Where were they? You answer in Africa. All right. How long have they been in Africa? Let's chase up uh, the history of our people and see who we are. If you don't know yourself, it's due to the fact that you don't know your own history. But if you know your own history, you know yourself. How long had our fathers been in Africa before the white man went there and brought them into the Western Hemisphere as slaves. And where did they go from? Or where uh, were they from when they went to Africa? Or did they originate in Africa? You are scholars and scientists. Why don't you know these things? If we uh, are a people that should not be respected, an outcast of the civilized uh, world. What was our father before ever that we came to America to come into the realization that we are outcasts and unwanted people in the society of nations? Where did we came from and where our fathers? Was our fathers ever anything? That's what I would like to know. God has revealed. Almighty God has said to me that before ever that the white man brought us from that particular country, we had been there in that particular country 50,000 years. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He again said to me, before going there, we were in what we call Arabia today, which uh, that whole entire uh, peninsula, as they call it, a peninsula, a peninsula, pardon me. Before ever that the white man came there, that uh, uh, <coughs> country they call Arabia, or uh, a peninsula. This particular country that you now call Arabia and have it divided up into many other states were all called Arabia, meaning the first, all called Asia. And the continent of Africa were called that particular continent was called, <clears throat> at that time, the jungles of East Asia. <clears throat> and <clears throat> our people that is there today. They came from a saint who wanted uh, to make a people that was capable of uh, withstanding the hot sun and uh, <coughs> could Get alone even in the jungles with beasts. Beasts. 
and other laws. So he goes to the other scientists, numbering 24, pleaded with them to allow him to take his family into the jungles of East Asia to make the people that he thinks that would be capable of withstanding anything of nature. And uh, that man was one of uh, the tribe of Shabbat. The tribe of Shabazz, the original, original tribe of Shabazz, excuse me, sometimes I blunder because of the force of uh, trying to get over what all I have to say, sometimes I blunder and not uh, <laughs> pronounce my words uh, clearly. <laughs> We are tracing our, <coughs> our own father's history now, the history of our father. This man, belonging to the tribe of Shabazz, being our father, uh, the father of us, from <coughs> 50,000 years ago up to today. For 50,000 years, he has acted, or rather, he's in the place as a father of us. Before this tribe of Shabbat produced that man, that thing, they were a tribe of Shabbat called the number one tribe before our deportation for moon. And that deportation from moon took place 66 trillion years ago. <laughs> and it was one of the tribes and the only scientific tribe that escaped that great disaster of uh, exploding our planet in those days that came with this part. It, <coughs> this part dropped 36,000 miles from the original pocket that it was in at that time of explosion. It, <coughs> that explosion our blast caused this part to drop. Listen good, because they science in it, and uh, some of the students that study it, uh, I do want you to pay good attention. <clears throat> it dropped 36,000 miles from that original pocket that she rotated in. Get it good. And that part that you see up there tonight called moon in this blast and from the force of this blast <coughs> taking it 12,000 miles away from that original part and this dropping 36,000 miles from the original part found another pocket to start rotating again or rather it didn't ever stop it was too short a distance for the planet to completely slow up its speed of rotation if it had slow <coughs> had any such thing as a slow up it would have affected the people but it didn't slow up the blast <coughs> that was made and the drop that <coughs> the planet made due to the blast kept the planet still rotating at its same rate of speed. At least the sun who causes and 
and compels the Earth to rotate on an axis did not lose any power of attraction on either part. She kept both parts moving around in that orbit as this other part followed us. And it also is now attached to the same part that it came from for power to continue to rotate. So she rotates in our orbit right on in the same, or rather, running around the same planet that she came from. This particular tribe, we ask the history of our father. This particular tribe that our father came from, when the, uh, the earth was fit, after that flash, for, uh, uh, we call it a, uh, uh, Explore. It was our scientists, the first of our fathers was the first scientist, I should say, that started exploring the earth after that uh, blast, uh, the deportation of moon from the earth, or the moon rather deportation from the uh, moon. They found on our planet earth the best to make a home on. They covered the entire earth. It was our father. We are from that same tribe. And they are the ones who set up history for us. They wrote it. They told about it. We have it today in the holy city. Mecca put away in a safe keeping vault where no man is able to get to and catch a uh, look on the history except people. There's only 12 people on our planet today that have uh, the privilege to look into that history. And they keep the knowledge within themselves among the twelve, the only one that has <coughs> broke the secret, or rather uh, has uh, made known the secret of that book, it is that twelfth one today who is now acknowledged by the eleven to be God in person. <laughs> among us before uh, we made the moon. I said we because it was our fathers that made it. <clears throat> there is ways to prove the truth of this. If you are scholars and scientists, I, I will say to you astronomers, you have a way of proving whether this is the truth or not. Before uh, we made this moon that you see tonight, we had Venus, uh, pardon me, we had uh, Mars serving as our moon for this earth. And our earth at that time was approximately uh, 10,000 miles in diameter. And it was about 36,000 miles in circumference. <laughs> While today it's only about, well, it's 24,800, uh, uh, pardon me, yeah, 900 it is. 24,926 miles, that's right? No, uh, 896. <laughs> 24,896 miles around with the equator. That's the exact 
we say approximately 25,000 miles. Strike straight through the Earth at the equator, it's uh, 7,926 miles. While before uh, the deportation of Moon, she was approximately 10,000 miles through. And uh, she was about 36,000 miles around with the equator. She has always been egg-shaped. When uh, the moon was, uh, uh, was with the earth, the earth still was egg-shaped. Not, never has been a whole round spear. She's egg-shaped. So it was our fathers uh, that came with our planet. It's our fathers today who has pr produced it for us, what we have. And the God that we have today is from that same father. Yeah. Oh, I don't want that. I want to bring you into the knowledge of yourself. There is no such thing as there is a, a, a God other than us. That's a grave mistake for you to try to produce a God other than man. <clears throat> we, the black man, have been God ever since that uh, we had a life germ in the universe and the first life germ in the universe was us. This is from God himself. The first life joint was capable with its own intelligence of thought to cause what you and I see today to come into existence from nothing. It had no base. There was no base to create a sun nor moon. But <clears throat> he created it himself by the power of his own intelligence. As we today uh, are fast learning that the intelligence of the scientists today can bring into being our brain. Anything that we can conceive in our brains, we can make it a reality.